I'm your host, Julie Fayfan Balzer, and we continue with our recipes for a scrapbook lifestyle. Right now, I'm going to be doing an art journal page. Now, the only difference to me between a scrapbook and an art journal page is what you call it. So this is just a scrapbook page without any photos. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make these wonderful dimensional embellished dots. So the first thing you're gonna do is this happens to be a journal that has watercolor paper in it. That's not actually that important. I see I flipped past where I want it to be, but you can see some of my other pages here. There you go, the wrong way. So I have my watercolor paper. It's a nice heavy paper. I'm gonna use acrylic paint. I like to use a wide brush when I do my painting just because I'm lazy and it makes it go a little faster. You can see that I have blended my yellow and my green. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a dimensional glossy pink pen and I'm just gonna pop off. This is a little plastic cap that when you get it uh, right at first, it comes like that. And then I'm just gonna scribble here to make sure that the pen is started. Once I'm sure that it's started, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw out a couple different circles. And again, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just having a good time drawing out my circles. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some simple doodles. So a triangle, that's an easy shape. Why don't I do a matching triangle on the other side? And hey, while we've done two, why not do three? So I'm gonna go ahead and add another one. And three, well, three always likes company, so there's four. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple little extra things, like let's say an echo. An echo is just repeating the shape, either smaller or larger. And once I've added that in, well, who's to say you don't want some stripes in there? So again, I'm not doing any drawing. This isn't something that's complicated or difficult. This is just about you relaxing, having a good time, and just doing this really easily. Now, one of the things that's cool about these um, glossy pens is that they do a really great job on a slick surface like acrylic paint, creating some kind of dimension. And uh, you can see here, now I'm just doing some easy scallops. I'm just basically getting some good looking designs down. I can do a little star in the middle, whatever I feel like at that moment. And again, echoes, I think, make everything look good. So I'm just gonna continue around with some easy echoes. The next thing is, I think this needs color, a lot of color. I'm a sort of more is more girl, so I love to add color to everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to color this in. Again, you might wanna start it on a piece of paper just to make sure that your pen is flowing. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and scratch, scratch this in. And you will see that the ink from these pens really, really, really wants to flow. And so it goes right across the page page, no problem at all. It just glides across there. So I'm just going easily. And you can see that even though this is a tiny ballpoint pen tip, it fills large space surprisingly quickly, which I really like, because you know, I'm a lazy crafter. So then the other thing you can use is you can actually use, you'll notice that these pens have matte caps where these pens have glossy caps. And that's because the ink in these pens is gonna dry matte as opposed to glossy. So that's an easy way to tell the difference. Again, I'm gonna remove that little dot. You don't ever have to put it back. That's just the way it comes. And I'm gonna go ahead and scratch scratch here. Now, one of the things about these pens is people think at first that the pen isn't working because they say it doesn't seem to be the flat color that I was promised. These pens take a little bit longer to dry. And I would say, always tell people don't dry them with a heat gun because it does something chemically, the heat, that you won't like. So you wanna just let them air dry, give them the time and the space and they'll be fine. So again, what are rules of colors in terms of adding if you just are gonna keep adding colors? Well, you know what I say? I think that a rainbow has tons and tons of colors and nobody ever says, hey, that rainbow clashes. So keep adding the colors, just heading your way right through there. If you're nervous about it all, all, I would say pick a couple really basic colors that you like or look around your room and see what's already there and just find out what you think would be a good match. Okay, so I would continue coloring all of this in and creating some more circles. And when I finished and it's dried, ooh, it should be something like this. And you can see how nice and dimensional this is and it feels it's both glossy and matte but we're not done because now we're gonna add all sorts of cool little extras. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, start my pen on here and then I'm gonna add little things like dots 
and you'll see it just makes such a difference. It really makes it pop. It makes it just that much more interesting. You can also add dashes and lines. The amount of detail that you add is entirely up to you and what you feel like. Now, with the caps that are shiny, that is a transparent ink. So like for instance, you can see the orange through this green pen. However, with the matte caps, this is an opaque ink. So while it may not look like it at first that you can see, that you can't see through here, when it dries, it's gonna be an entirely opaque line and you will never see that orange through there. So that's also a great place to fix up any mistakes or excuse me, creative opportunities that you may have created for yourself. And so I really like the white pen a lot because I think it adds a lot to add in those tiny white details of all kinds. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add those in and see what I'm doing right there. And you can see how quick and easy that is. So once you've done all your embellishing, and you can do as much or as little as you want, you'll see that I have something, ooh, that looks like this. Lots of different dimension and all sorts of stuff. Now I wanna tell you how I finish the page. How you finish it is up to you. I think it would be actually really cute to put a little photo in here. What I've done is I've taken a quote, life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful, and I've stamped that. These are just some hand carved stamps. And by the way, this box was also done with these shiny dimensional paints. Isn't that cool? So I just would stamp this out, and you can see that, add some journaling, and there you go. An easy peasy art journal layout.